everybody. Um, Thomasy, as you know, the unit is running as normal, just without lots of students to help us. So we are taking care of the daily husbandry here on the unit. But not only that, we need to obviously keep in touch with all of the routine things that need doing. So today I'm going to be weighing the frogs at the same time as feeding them so that reduces the amount they're being handled in one week and also then in turn increases their likelihood to eat. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Amazon milk frog. So she is a geo-fed frog. As you can see I have my geo container and my weight scales all ready so my equipment is up there and waiting. So I'm going to start off with Priscilla. So keeping my hands nice and moist, cupping her as I'm walking around the room. The scales are already on two grams and set to zero, so in she goes. And she's a healthy 31 grams, and I'm going to transfer her straight into her feeding geo, so minimal interference. I'm just going to leave her in there for a bit, and I'm going to write down her weight on here. And then next up, going to weigh the Anthony Armani tree frogs. So again, wetting my hands, cupping as I'm walking so you can see there is absolutely no way this frog can get out of my hands and onto the floor. She is a very tiny frog at 14 grams, but that is a very healthy weight for her. So we're going to pop her in there again and leave her to feed. And then the other Armani, which is Littlefoot. Again, I'm going to get her out. Pop her on the scales. 28 grams. And then straight into her feeding geo. So then we can just leave these frogs alone to go and get on with their feeding. So I will continue that throughout the room. Obviously, any animal that is fed today that is not fed in a geo will not be weighed. I will weigh them tomorrow when they're not being fed. And that is obviously to reduce risk of regurgitation and any issues that come along with that. So, see you soon, guys.